Hello, my name is Farin and welcome back to part 15 of ARN's ABA Parental Training Series. In our last video, we went through several tips on self-care for parents and caregivers. In this video, we will be talking about what is Applied Behaviour Analysis or ABA, its background as an intervention therapy for children with autism and the seven dimensions that make up ABA as we know it today. Let's go! In simple words, Applied Behaviour Analysis or ABA is a therapy that focuses on improving and increasing functional behaviours and skills such as requesting and communicating for what they want and need while reducing problematic behaviours such as tantrums. ABA has evolved and improved over the years. Nowadays, many practitioners of ABA are in favour of a more natural and evidence-based approaches in correcting negative behaviours and helping a child acquire essential skills. There are seven core concepts that make up ABA therapy, each one born from years of scientific and evidence-based research that has evolved and improved to align with the social paradigm of the times. Generalization This means that skills or behaviours taught during therapy sessions could be applied across different people and environments. Interventions are effective when they improve a behaviour in a socially acceptable manner and the change has a significant effect on the child's day-to-day -day life. Technological Interventions are described in language that is easy to understand so that other practitioners are able to use them accurately. Applied Targets that are important to everyday life, the child and the family are selected and interventions are subsequently applied to achieve these targets. Conceptually Systematic Interventions are based on principles derived from research and focus on behaviour and learning. Interventions are done through accurate data and decisions, ensuring effectiveness and reliability. Behaviour Observable and measurable behaviours are targeted to show what the child actually does and how their actions are changed due to the intervention therapy. Verbal behaviour not only teaches the child how to communicate and verbally express their desires and needs, but it also helps them to understand what they are communicating. For example, ABA teaches a child how to ask for food, but they might not understand the reason why they are asking for food. ABA VB, on the other hand, teaches a child to ask for food and helps them to understand that when they are hungry, they should ask for food to satisfy their hunger instead of crying or a tantrum. We hope you find this information to be beneficial. If you have any inquiries, feel free to contact us with the information shown on the screen. And if you happen to know of someone who may benefit from this video, do share it with them as well. Thank you for watching this video today and for following the parental training series. We will see you in the next video. Bye!